Davison Pharmacy tells me they filled more than 100 prescriptions for transferring customers between Tuesday and Friday last week. The pharmacists and staff say they expect that number to grow as Rite Aid winds down. Davison Pharmacy is a local shop at the end of a gas station on South State Road. They opened in 2022 and they've been through a lot with prescription shortages. Now they will see more people coming in to get their medications. We are welcoming the patients and uh, we are expecting to be having more patients. We are trying to expand our hire new team members uh, to uh, handle the workload that we are expecting so we do not compromise our customer service. Here in Amin is a pharmacist who spent nearly two decades working for a big corporation pharmacy. He's now at Davison and says that the last few years haven't been easy for those bigger pharmacies. Because of the uh, PDM and the insurance negative and poor reimbursement issues, but as far as uh, right here, big corporations are struggling, um, they are closing their stores. This forces people needing prescriptions to travel a distance. While Amin says that the big corporations are struggling, he believes this will help the smaller local pharmacies. We try to manage by controlling our some of the unnecessary expenses without compromising the uh, like those services that we provide to the patient. Versus bigger corporation, like they have bigger expenses as well. Amin says they are willing to transfer anyone who is now without a pharmacy because Rite Aid is closing. We actually uh, make all the phone calls to, and we communicate with the other pharmacies internally. We also make a phone call to the doctor offices if it's needed. The University of Pittsburgh School of Pharmacy conducted a study over 10 years. This map shows all the pharmacies that closed between January 2014 and March of 2024. You can see how many have closed here in Michigan. And the researchers say the closures appear to be progressive over time. For now, live in the studio, Courtney Bennett, Mid Michigan Now.